I picked up these uh, clipboards at the Dollar Tree. I have a total of three. And I'm going to be using numbered decolage. This is a tissue paper by Roy Cycled. You can find this at chalkitupfancy.com. It's full of numbers and bright colors. And I'm going to start by tracing out the clipboards to my tissue paper. Then I'm going to make sure that I cover this with Wise Owl white primer. If I do not, we're probably going to get some bleed through as this is like a press board. So this white primer is just going to block that and at the same time it's going to brighten up my background. Anytime you use a light background, you're going to make your paper brighter and bring out the colors. And I did this to all three clipboards. Now I'm going to take the one hour enamel clear. You can also use our varnish and I'll place my cutout piece on top of the board. I'm going to be avoiding the metal clip part. Now I didn't do this, but you can cover that with press and seal just to make sure that you don't get any glue on it. And then you're going to take your um, brayer and your saran wrap and you're going to lay the saran wrap as a barrier. Now I just did up to the, um, the metal clip and now I just kind of put a slice to the left and to the right of that metal clip so that I can kind of go around it and it's going to release tension from the tissue paper to hover above it. Now I'm going to finish these side edges and this just allows me to do this a little bit more neatly and avoiding getting glue on my metal. Now once everything's laid down, I'm going to take my one hour enamel clear and reapply it and then I'm going to set it aside to dry. Once dry, I'm going to take maybe an 80 grit sandpaper. And you're going to make sure that you're just hitting edges and I'm just going along the edge of this metal clip just to get any excess paper around this particular area. And again, I'm just using that edge and now I'm going to go around the entire clipboard edge to get out to take off any excess tissue paper and this just gives it a nice cut almost like you used a pair of scissors and it gives you a perfect edge and I did this with all three clipboards. Now I'm going to do another coat of the one hour enamel clear just because I'm going to be using this and I want to make sure it's nice and durable and when you reapply this you may see a little bubbles and wrinkling in the paper you're going to leave it alone because when it dries, it's going to stretch out that paper or shrink it. I'm sorry. It's going to shrink it and it's going to flatten any bubbles. So here I have the three. And now this is a fun part. You can decorate them. You could decorate these with molds. Um, I like to put tags on mine. You can actually put a tag and a name of whatever that clipboard is for. We have three different businesses. So sometimes I like to separate my three businesses for you know different items during tax time that I want to keep separate you know but you could put a keychain you get that right at the dollar store you can use a um, a lock and a key and I love these these uh, ribbons they're bundles of ribbons in uh, similar colors that you can get at Michael's comes in a big cluster it takes me forever to get through a cluster of them and that's what I'm going to use to wrap around my clip because these particular clips are just a straight bar so I'm just here I'm just tying a bunch of different um, colors to that straight bar and trying to cut them close to the same length And I like the black and the white with this particular paper. Again, this paper is called Numbered Decolage. 
And here's my first one. And each one I used the same ribbon, but did just a different type of bow. And you can use a little hot glue to keep everything from rolling on that. Um, it's kind of like a straight bar and sometimes the fabric does want to roll. So you can use a little hot glue to hold it in place. And I just try to decorate in a way that it's still, I can still operate with them. And this is my last one. I just took a whole clump and just put it in a, in a tie. And there you go. I really hope you enjoyed this video. For other tutorials, go check us out on YouTube. You can now watch all our videos at chalkitupfancy.com. For any paint products, tissue paper transfers, or mesh stencils, chalkitupfancy.com. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.